Hi, this is Melissa Rollo Gaming, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve a Rubik's 2x2 cube. I'm going to teach you using a storytelling method, as this will help you remember two of the algorithms. The first step in solving the cube is to complete the white face. And if you already know how to solve the 3x3 cube, you may be familiar with this method for placing white corners. We're going to use that same method here. And what you do is, first we're going to pick a white piece to start with. And so this piece is already on the top, and we're going to find three other white corner pieces to put around uh, the top and to have them oriented in the right way. So if you're familiar with the way of placing a white corner in the 3x3, three three, what we like to do is find a white piece that's on this bottom layer. But looking at our cube, we actually don't have any right now, so we need to put one where we need it. So in order to do that, you can take this piece that's here on the top layer and you can rotate the face. And now that's on the bottom layer. We're gonna move it out of the way and that way we can put our original piece back up into place. And now we have this piece on the bottom layer. And now we're gonna look at the colors of this piece. It's orange and blue. And that first piece is orange and green. And knowing that this is orange and green, it means that what we're gonna to wanna to do is put an orange piece here with white on top, and then a green piece here with white on top. So taking that piece over here with orange and blue, we now know that it needs to come over here next to this orange piece. So it's gonna to need to go into this slot. And then we're gonna do the standard method for bringing a white corner piece, piece into place. And what that method is, is you face the piece so that the white is facing you. You wanna put it into the slot above. And so what you need to first do is move it out of the way. Then you're gonna bring down the side with the slot that you're trying to fill. So bring that down. Here's the slot we're trying to fill. Bring our piece back. So now our piece has filled that slot and then we can bring this into place. And you can see we've placed this orange piece next to that other orange piece, and they both have white. Now we're gonna look for another white piece. Here's one on the bottom layer. And then we see this has blue and red. And so looking up above here, we see that this is a blue piece that's already in place and that we need blue here. So actually this is the slot we're gonna to want to fill with this piece. And so we're gonna do that same method, which is move it away from where it's trying to go so move it this way, bring down the slot, like so, bring our piece filling that slot, move it into place. And now we have solved that corner. And then we look for the final corner piece, and here it is, it's on the bottom, and so we're gonna have to do a, um, a special method to move it from the bottom up into, or from the, you know, the, the very bottom up into this layer, and so, we're gonna move it so it's under the, the slot that we're trying to fill. We're gonna bring down the face, bringing this piece back here, and then we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees. We're gonna bring our piece that we moved back into place, and now this is the piece we're trying to place. It's now on this uh, bottom layer where we wanted it. We rotate it to be under the slot we're trying to fill. And then what we do is move it away from where we're trying to go, bring down the side with the slot, bring our piece filling that slot, and bring this into place. And we've solved the white face, and we've also solved the first layer. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve the yellow face. And to do that, we're gonna flip over our cube, and then we're gonna look and see what we have on this face. And you're gonna have the situation where either you have zero yellow pieces on the top, which is what we have right now. You could have one yellow piece or you could have two yellow pieces in place. Or you could have all four if you had got lucky. Um, but we have the situation where we have zero and, and depending if you have zero, one or two, it's gonna change the way you hold the cube. So when you have zero pieces on the top, what you wanna do is find a yellow piece on the side and you want it to actually be on the left side facing this way. So this is where we want it. So now we're gonna hold the cube this way and then we're gonna do this algorithm that I call the tennis algorithm. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring up the right side or bring up our racket. We're gonna hit the ball. We're gonna bring down our racket. Ball's gonna go over the net. 
We're gonna bring up our racket to get ready. Our opponent hits the ball really hard, comes over the net, one, two, coming back, and then we smash it down. Now we look and we see that we've got one yellow piece on the top. And when you have one yellow piece on the top, what you're gonna to wanna to do is put it to stay on the top, bottom, left corner, so like this. So then holding the cube like this, we're gonna do that tennis algorithm again. Bring up your racket, hit the ball, bring down your racket, ball goes over the net, bring up your racket, ball comes back, one, two, you smash it down. Now if you have two yellow pieces showing, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is put a yellow piece so that it's facing you on the front here, on the front left side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring up your racket, bring up the right side, we're gonna hit the ball, we're gonna bring down our racket, ball's gonna go over the net, we're gonna bring up our racket to get ready for the ball coming back, Ball comes back really fast, one, two, and then we smash it down, smashing the ball down. We again have one piece, uh, one yellow piece on the top, so we're gonna bring, rotate it so it's in the bottom left, and we're gonna do that tennis algorithm again. Bring up your racket, hit the ball, bring down your racket, ball goes over the net. Bring up your racket, getting ready, ball comes back, one, two, smash it down. And now we've solved the yellow face. And then we're gonna look at the second layer and we're looking to see if we solved any pairs. So this is not a pair, these are not a pair, that's not a pair, but this is a pair. So we have a pair of green and so now we can align it with the other pair of green and we've solved the green face. And when, when we've solved uh, one of the third colors, what we do is we rotate it to the back and then rotate it down so that the white face is facing you and that new green face is on the bottom. And now we're gonna do the final algorithm that will solve our cube. And now we're gonna look around this top layer to see if we have a pair, and we do not. And so now we're gonna to have to do this step um, an extra time. Uh, it's the same algorithm that I'm gonna teach you to, do, to solve the very final layer, but we're gonna do it uh, to get our, the pair that we need, because we need to get a pair on this second layer. So in this situation, you can hold it um, any which way as long as you've got the white face facing you. So bring up the white face so it's facing you, and then you're gonna do this algorithm that I call the mouse in the basement algorithm. So a lady is trying to do her laundry and she needs to go down to the basement to get down to the washing machine. So she goes down the stairs she picks up her basket, she goes down the rest of the stairs, she sees a mouse, she chases it around the basement, one, two, she runs up the stairs, drops her basket, she decides to go back down again, see the mouse again, goes down the stairs, chases the mouse, like one, two, and now she's kind of had it with the mouse, so she runs up the stairs, one, two. And now we look and we see, do we have a pair? And we do, we've got a pair of red. So we're gonna take that, those two reds and align them with the other two reds and we've solved the red face. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate so that red face is on the bottom and the white face is facing us. And now we're gonna do that same mouse in the basement algorithm again. Um, and this time it should solve our cube. And I call this algorithm the mouse in the basement algorithm. So holding your cube with the white face facing you, we're gonna do, the, do this algorithm. So a lady is going to do the laundry in her basement. So she comes down the stairs, she picks up her laundry basket, I'm gonna turn it like this, and then she goes down the stairs, she sees a mouse, she chases it around the basement, one, two. She runs up the stairs, she drops her basket, so now she got brave again and she's gonna go down the stairs again and deal with that mouse. So she runs down the stairs, chases the mouse around the basement, one, two. Now she's freaking out. So she runs up the stairs all the way to the top, one, two. And then she slams the door shut and we have solved the two by two cube.